What up YouTube, it's your boy Zai, you already know what time it is, of course I'm doing this video inside my new car, and, and before I even get into what I want to talk about, I'm just going to thank every, absolutely every one of my haters that have come to the channel and so diligently paid attention to absolutely every video that has come across uh, for their viewing pleasures, and, I, and, and you know, I, there's, I hold nothing but admiration for you guys. That really, you know, put forth all that effort to type absolutely everything you can in the comments. Some people have, you know, went as far as to type in whole scriptures and, and quotes from the Bible and statistics and, and, and the geographics of gangs and all this other stuff that makes absolutely no sense in the scheme of things. But it's your participation and your watching of the videos that allow me to drive around. And this new car. So there's absolutely no hate that I hold towards you individuals. I wish you well. May if you're religious, may God bless you or whatever. Now, blessed be. Now, with that being said, man, shout out to everybody that righteously support the channel and have been here since day one. And even the new ones that come to the channel and 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 may not necessarily agree with me, but they they like the the effort that I put towards the content now I have another video I want to talk about but this one is something that I've been watching for quite some time ever since where you can tell by the title when they overturn this whole Roe versus Wade thing and I knew from from when the judgment was handed down I knew that it would be an uproar just due to the fact that when it comes to females and the taking away of their rights to govern their own body that there would be issues now everybody knows that have been following my channel for the longest time. No thing against liberals, but I'm a staunch conservative and I am absolutely pro-life. But what I'm not is some type of megalomaniac that thinks that he can control absolutely everything an individual does. And see, the whole reason I'm doing this video is because even though I'm pro-life, I don't understand how government gets involved and enforces rules on people that... And a lot of times it's people forcing these rules upon them based on... Uh, religious standards but if if it comes down to religious standards then everything that happens in this world is is it is what it is to be like it's already preordained that people will die some people will live and 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 it's all written in a big book up there on exactly the timing of everybody's death so you cannot utilize religion in order to make a statement if you're not going to follow exactly what's stated in the bible now if you're saying that it, you know whatever happens is god's will then anytime somebody takes it upon their self to get an abortion that's god's will it, you know what i'm saying like it's 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 not nothing uh diabolical it's nothing demonic about it it's people choosing to not carry things, something in them that that they feel like they may not be able to provide for some some may do it just some and, and don't don't get me wrong I know some people is gonna do it out of selfishness that's but you still have Plan B but of course you may limit that but you're still gonna be selling Plan B why because the bottom the the bottom line is the dollar now. Everybody knows that I've went in on women and on my channel on my channel before and it wasn't necessarily the bash just to point out key characteristics and things that they do which are a turn off to men as well as men do things that's a turn off to women. Now the whole reason I chose to speak about this video and I may be rambling somewhat because it's kind of hard to formulate thoughts when you're dealing uh, uh, with the basic uh, human sense of decency. No, no government should be able to uh, determine exactly who's to carry a kid and who's not. No government should should not uh, uh, be able to tell a female that she got raped and she has to carry this rapist uh, uh, baby, regardless of how it was conceived. I get it; it's a life, and if she choose to bring that life to full term, then you know you can do nothing but uh, honor that because. It's, 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 it's with, within her right to choose that. But now they're making it to where if you're pregnant, regardless of the situation, they'll try to make like little stipulation. But at the end of the day, they're trying to outlaw, outlaw it outright and be like, you know what? You don't have the right to govern your own body. Now, I'm not going to get on here and be like, oh, well, uh, the whole female versus male thing. I'm just going to tell you that this is 
This is all these decisions are being made by megalomaniacs, people that feel like they're on the same plateau as God, because you would have to believe yourself a God to hand down the decisions such as you know, to, to reverse the whole Roe versus Wade. No man should ha have the right to tell the female. Now, if you have kids or you're going to have kids with this female and maybe she had, you know, it, 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 it was it was unintended. But, you know, there's nothing you can do about it now. Yeah, I think a, all, I think a man should have the right to determine whether the female should bring it to full term or not. And then, you know, you can go through ju judicial uh, you know, I don't think that she should have a right to just terminate without going through certain channels And then if, if the verdict is what the verdict is, then by all means, that's the verdict There's nothing you can really do Now, he can rile against it and, 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 and get all up in order and do something that's going to that's, that's gonna put him in jail and, pros and possibly jeopardize the life of his unborn child uh, By all means, I would say go... The, the judicial right uh, route with it because you know there's a, a pretty good chance that you might be able to get your your voice heard and then keep her from terminating something that you feel like you can take care of yourself now that's also governing a woman's body but it's a lot different than the government just telling you flat out you got raped and you can't terminate something that's pro uh, possibly you're not gonna not only be able to take care of but you might actually look at this baby and 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 constantly have that reminder of of what happened to you. You know what I mean? With, with without your uh, you know, without you giving consent, and that right there, uh, you know. Sorry, I gotta roll these windows up, but and that right there, I I, I consider bull. Like like I said, no man has the right to govern a woman. No man has the right to tell a female what she can and what she can't do with her body you know what i mean that's just and that's not to be uh you know like i'm 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 for uh abortion i'm pro-life like i said but uh if it, it if, if it's not something like you know as far as like somebody that i'm dealing with that that's planning on doing this then there's nothing i can really say about it now if it was somebody having a kid by me and they wanted to terminate yeah we would have an issue but then there's there's ways of going about that uh but that's that's according to me and my situation but as far as the government enforcing rules as far as like if you if you decide to terminate a, a, a pregnancy that's that you know you basically forfeit your all your rights and and posse uh face imprisonment i i don't think that's right i think like i said that's just the government being mellow uh uh you know megalomaniacs that you know wanting to control absolutely everything it's like just look at this like for the people they overturned this now watch little by little it's a strong possibility that other things that may work in other people favor outside of women that those are going to get overturned and then people are going to be looking like okay well here's the, the 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 shit is now rolling downhill once they this is a big what people don't fail, fail to realize is this is a big thing that they just did this this affects a lot of and and, and it also affects some men that that don't want to have kids by a particular female and she may not want to have kids by him but now due to the fact that you know the government has got involved both of them have uh, compromise their life and like I said when you're having sex and you choose to go unprotected then that's the risk you take but at the end of the day you cannot force anything on anybody and, and by the government doing this just shows exactly where they stand you cannot use religion to enforce law and and I say and, and the reason I say that and, and, and I go to say this before I end the video, but this is all hypocritical because you can dictate or try to dictate what goes on in Arabic uh, countries on how they choose to deal with their women saying that that's not right and that's not this. You know that that they shouldn't have the right to, to tell a woman what she is, but you turn around and do the same thing. The only thing is you're doing it in a different way, but you're still trying to control the female. It's just... You know, it, we'll call the spade a spade. So, yeah, like I said, I'm pro-life and, 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 and I'm not here to upset anybody that may possibly be, have been in a situation like that to where you dealt with some female that may have just terminated without even telling you. This is just to address the, 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 the elephant in the room and the fact that big government is now making decisions that should not be made by them. 
a woman's body should be governed by a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like me telling my mom she can't do certain things. My mom decided to bring all of us to a full term, regardless of what it did to her body, but that's her choice as a woman. A lot of women nowadays, they, they're more focused on, on their future and, and, and producing something outside of wanting to cater to the, you know, the, the norm of just having kids and lay back and allow the man to do everything. Now, I'm all for the submissiveness to a point, but we're not going to even get into that. This whole thing is about the government. Now, that's all I really want to say, man. I think the decision of this overturning was a bad decision. I think it's going to be ramification behind it. I think that you did a disservice to females everywhere by trying to govern how they control their body. Like, you know, and, and, and it's funny because, it, the, you know, especially like California, a lot of you cater to these pedophiles, you cater to these rapists and, and these degenerates. You know what I mean? Because I was a degenerate myself because I'm an ex-con. But... You know what I mean? It's like you, you cater to the people that, that take things forcefully. If a man doesn't have a right to rape a woman, a woman should have the right not to have this stupid fool's baby that violated her without her permission. And you know, there's different levels of that. And we're not going to get into it. I'm going to say, man, this whole Roe vs. Wade is bullshit. And I hope that they, they, they find a way to, to modify it in some way to where it... It, it, it doesn't just put a female in a bind, you know what I mean, to where she has to do exactly what they want her to do or face prison. Because if that's the case, there going to be a lot of females in prison because they're going to still try to do it some way or another. And it puts them in jeopardy and their health in jeopardy because they're going to do it in some other country or some weird stuff. Anyways, man, I'm your boy Zod. I do got other videos. I wasn't get on here and talk about something else, but this is something I want to cover Everybody, uh, you know, respect your human, you know, counterparts. And like I said to my haters, you put me in a new car. Can you see it? Look at them seats. Woo! You don't even know what you did for your boy. I mean, I still got two jobs, but you give me that extra little oof. I need to get the windows tinted and put system in it. I appreciate you. <laughs>